Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habita fillah in a hadith of Abu Musa al-Ash'ari radiyallahu ta'ala in the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said when a slave dies Allah when a slave's child dies Allah the most high asks his angels have you taken out the life of the child of my slave they reply in the affirmative. He then asks, Have you taken the fruit of his heart? They reply in the affirmative. Thereupon he asks, What was my what has my slave said? They say he has praised you and said, Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. We belong to Allah, and to him we shall be returned. Allah says, Build a house for my slave in Jannah and name it Bayt al Hamd, the house of praise. Ruahu Tirmidhi. Ahabat this hadith in Sahih, uh, this hadith in Tirmidhi, <coughs> in which the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam describes that Allah the Almighty will ask his angels about the taking of the life of a, uh, a Muslim child. And that this hadith gives us hope for our children that are taken at an early age. And this hadith also shows us the importance of sab sabr, patience, and gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and, and praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ala kulli hal. Alhamdulillah, all praise belongs to Allah under all circumstances. And if the believer takes this attitude, and if the believer practices this, and takes this approach to every mas'ala, min masaila deed wa dunya, that the believer will have success. And we also learn from this hadith the importance that when we hear about a death, and when there's a death that is... Uh, whether it be close to us or far, we should say, Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. We belong to Allah, and to Him we shall uh, be returned. And the one who gives thanks and praise to Allah and is not disappointed with the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and accepts it, even if they have hurt and sorrow in their heart, Allah will build a house for them in Jannah and name it Bayt al-Hamd, as is mentioned in this hadith, in Sahah. So, a last point I want to mention is a great alam that was known to teach in the Haram. We just found out he just passed, and he was a great elder, and was known for teaching in the Haram in Medina for more than perhaps 40 or 50 years. Sheikh Abu Bakr al Jazairi, Rahmatullah alayhi, Rahmatun Wasi, and may Allah bless him with Jannah to Firdaus, Inna Lillahi, Wa Inna Ilayhi, Raji'un, Wa Sallallahu Sallam, Anna Nabi'ina.